In 1872, the Tomioka Silk Mill, the first modern yarn-making factory in Japan, began operations in Tomioka City, Gunma Prefecture. At the time, experts from France were on hand to introduce modern sericulture techniques. Europe was then suffering from an epidemic of silkworm pebrine, and merchants turned to the Far East, especially to Japan, to cope with silk shortages. Despite the upheavals that were to follow that brought about the end of the Tokugawa shogunate and the Meiji Restoration, Japanese sericulture was determined to modernize itself. Japanese silk has long been regarded as special. Kyoto's Nishijin textiles, Fukuoka's Hakata fabrics, and our very own Kiryu cloth, a guma speciality, are proud to use Japanese silk, a silk that has a level and quality that has ardent fans from around the world. Silk lovers in Western Gumma, where the Tomioka Silk Mill is situated, are pursuing the registration of their location as a world heritage site. Silkworms favor the abundant natural surroundings and clear air and water of Gumma Prefecture. For them, this is a world of luscious mulberry leaves fluttering in the breeze. This is a world worth preserving. Although Japanese silk has long been considered a luxury, it has been finely woven into the everyday lives of the Japanese people. Yet recently, the pressure of inexpensive imported silk has threatened the very survival of the Japanese silk industry. Superlative quality alone is no guarantee of relevance in the modern world. The Japan Silk Project is an attempt to create a new appreciation of the inherent value of Japanese silk, which is now produced in only small quantities. The project also wants to ensure Japanese silk lives on into the future. Just as tens of thousands of raw silk threads are transformed into fine fabric, we aim to transform the industry of traditional silk into one that is relevant to modern consumers. As we nurture the transformation, we hope to open a new silk road which will lead to new possibilities and opportunities. The Usui Silk Mill, located in Guma Prefecture, is privileged with a glorious view of Mount Miyogi. It's one of the few remaining silk mills in the country, and one where you will not find any cutting-edge technological equipment or sophisticated IT networks. We want this irreplaceable mill, a mill that spins quality silk following traditional Japanese techniques, to be recognized as a first step into the future, not as the last remnant of the past. In the 1800s, the area led by the Tomioka Silk Mill was the epicenter of one of the key industries that drove Japan's modernization. The question was then, could we, the Japan Silk Project, effect a 21st century renewal for the silk industry? To begin, we focused on the outermost layer of the cocoon called the kibiso, traditionally considered unusable. It's estimated that a single silkworm spins between 800 and 1300 meters of thread. The kibiso is the very beginning of the thread a silkworm spins. Conventionally, the majority of this thread has been discarded as waste yarn because it's difficult to process as it's stiff and its diameter is irregular. This also means that the kibiso is an infinitely rare natural material. From this, we developed a wallpaper called Kibi, which is remarkable for its moisture retention, thermal insulation, and antibacterial properties. Kibi 
is a Japanese term that expresses qualities of an object undetectable from the surface. Kibi embodies the sensitivity of nature and traditional craftsmanship and abhors wastefulness. Kibi is now one of our new products developed for the home that has been patented worldwide. Silk is a natural material that has been used not only as fabric, but also in industries ranging from food to housing. Furthermore, it's used in products such as cosmetics because it's rich in antioxidants and the protein sericin, which has hygroscopic properties. It also absorbs ultraviolet rays. Kibi is all completely made to order. After receiving an order, Kibiso, produced at the Usui Silk Mill in Gumma, is transferred to the workshop of the weaver Keizo Ito. Ito called this natural material rough around the edges. Since kibiso is generally entangled, it needs to be untangled manually, one thread at a time. Considering how time-consuming this process is, it's obvious why nobody has ever used it before. Using his handmade device, Ito begins making knots so that one long thread is created. It takes 30 minutes to completely wind one full spindle. Only 30 square centimeters of fabric can be created from one scheme. After the kibiso is woven into fabric, it's passed to a dyer in Kyoto and lined with paper to complete the production process of kibi. Premium quality silk products such as kibi are now ready to cross the seas to reawaken the world to the beauty and value of Japanese silk. Kibi, a gift which can only be produced by a technique unique to Japan. It's a one of its kind. For the silk industry, this is the dawn of a new challenge for the brand Made in Japan.